What's up everybody, this is Spoonfork, and I am here for a, another redstone tutorial, and this one is on clocks with start and stop switches. So, let's get going. So, first of all, redstone clocks, if you don't know, are where repeaters are, where repeaters are put into a circle, all facing a certain direction, so that it causes the signal that is put into it to go around in a circle. Now the use of this not only does it look cool, but it creates a pulse like this, so that it creates a regular pulse so that you can have a bunch of different machines. It's really actually incredibly useful. So it creates something that can pulse or move regularly. So uh, probably not the best idea to use it with TNT, but let's say a sticky piston. It is pulsing regularly. Now um, this is one example of what a clock could be, but there's a bunch of different types. You can have this kind of clock where it goes like this, and then, and you can have any delay that you want on the repeaters. They don't have to be like this. Whoops, that was pathetic. There we go. So this one is much faster. So, yeah, I can, if you want something to, I don't know, I mean, you could have it make a little tower out of blocks. Pretty much anything you want. So, and then there also can be some really small clocks like this, and also they can be bigger than that. They can be pretty much any size. So this one you actually have to start, whoop, I did it wrong. Come on. All right, here we go. There we go. This one is incredibly fast, it's kind of ridiculous. So. If you want to have something pushing very fast, then this is the one for you. I actually don't think it. Yeah, it doesn't even pull the block with it every time. So yeah, that is the ridiculously fast clock. So that's basically what the clocks are for, or what they do. Now, I have designed two different versions of the start and stop switch for the clocks. So this is the first one with a button, and the second one has a lever. So sort of two different ones. So this one involves the T flip-flop that I showed in my tutorial, uh, my other redstone tutorial, my first one. So this is my favorite T flip-flop. So it goes like this and then starts the signal. And I will explain how it all works um, after I show the other one. So this one has a monostable circuit, which is something that creates a quick pulse no matter what the input is. And then this is the kill switch. So there it goes. Fairly simple. So what the kill switch is, is basically since in the corners of the repeaters, there can be redstone wiring or a block. It doesn't matter. Either way still works. So in, uh, for the kill switch, you can have a piston that um, can let the wire go through or not. So that's basically how a kill switch works. So now I'm also, or quickly I'm going to demonstrate another interesting or a circuit that I thought was very intriguing that was designed by Etho. And it is a monostable circuit that is in the middle of this clock. And I'm going to put a lever right there. And basically it's a sticky piston right there on the ground with a block on top of it. And basically, let's flip it off. That's the kill switch right there. So the one problem is that it's a two switch system, but if you want to have a switch for to turn it on and then, or like to keep it on and that one to start it, then this is the one for you because also it's very simple and it doesn't require much resources. So anyways, there's a sticky piston in the ground, block on top. The, most compact monostable circuit I've seen yet because the normal one is like this and this is really big and bulky and it's so this is the normal monostable circuit that I've seen just creates a quick pulse you can see in that torch right there so that's the one that I've seen before so this one is much more efficient and you can see that even though there's a long pulse from the button, it gets shortened immediately there. So, 
Really cool system. I really like it. Let's turn that off. Oh, made it through. So now let's get on to how to build this uh, Minecraft clock. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, you want to make... Here, I'm going to build it right here. So first of all, you want to make the T flip-flop. So put redstone torches. Wire there, wire there. I already explained this in my earlier tutorial, so if you want to have a detailed view of how to do it, you can go there and I explain everything. But basically, go like that, like that, like that, and that should. Yep, that's a working thing. A working thing. It is a working T flip flop. So next, next to this, or er, after that, you do a click the button one more time. So you put a piston right here, so it's sort of diagonal from the other piston, and then you block here. So then, when you click this button, it causes that to push out. Click it again, and it causes it to go in. Also, that looks so cool. I was really happy when I came up with this. It looks really cool. So anyways, then you want to put wiring out around here like this, and then click the button one more time. So that you can see creates a pulse. So now this is out into the position that it will be when the system is on. So then you want to put out and it put one delay on it. Put out repeaters and a circle from here, and it's preferable to be in this direction because it create the or it'll be easier for this this wire to go just right into there, much easier. So now make the clock, and that's basically it. So now you can see that that turns it off. Oh wait, oh whoops, I just cooked up the wire to the wrong thing. That would be a much less efficient version. This right here, put a torch on that side and then wired up there. That will work. Sorry about that. There you can see that this utilizes the uh, monostable circuit of this section. You can see if you look in here, this right here is actually the same as the monostable circuit that I showed before that we're pyramid steppy shaped one so this is the same same idea right here so and that is a working uh, on and off clock so that's the first one so the next one is the version with the lever and that one I don't know I like the button I find it fun I don't know I prefer the button also it looks much cooler so this one, I actually prefer to start out with the clock section of it. So, whoops. So you're gonna you're gonna build out. Whoa, a little lag there. So build out the uh, the repeater, the clock like that, and then here you can see you have the kill switch, like so. And then at this point you have a repeater, and then you build the monostable circuit, and make two clicks on that one redstone torch there, redstone torch there put the wiring up along the edge and along the top so that it's this sort of look to it then put the lever right there wire going straight to it here and that should be whoops and of course put the wire in the corners and that right there is a working clock so I went through all of this fairly quick, but it's fairly basic redstone, and I mean, if I went too fast at the beginning, you can just pause the video right here, and this gives a fairly clear video, or er, cl fairly clear view of what it is, so. And then this one here, look at my previous video if you want to know how to do the T flip-flop, or my previous redstone tutorial. Um, so yeah, that's how I do these two things. And then finally here I'm going to show the... That was a tutorial for the first part of this monstrosity of a redstone creation. So the first part right there, this one is actually a less efficient version of the clock and the on and off switch thing, but I had to do it based on space because I have very... or the redstone lines here are actually on the maximum limit 
and if I had to squeeze anything like this in, it would not work. So this is the best I could do, and I don't need to worry about resources, so it's cool. So as you can see, right here is a clock that's going right here, or it's not going, but it's right there. And then here's the monostable circuit that is for the kill switch. And here is the other monostable circuit. Oh, and this monostable circuit actually creates the kill switch. It creates a quick pulse, and then that piston goes out and goes back in, but it leaves the block there. So a different setup, but same idea. And then this one right here is a monostable circuit to create a quick pulse to cause this to spin around. So, and it is nighttime now. I'm going to sleep in my special bed. <laughs> You can old shift in a bed, and it makes you go inside your body. Just so you know, quick trick. So, this is a working die, which is pretty awesome. So, click this to start and stop the randomizer, and this is the clock is hooked up to the randomizer, and I will do a tutorial for the randomizer later. But I'll show you what this does. So you roll it. Oh, wow, I, hmm, that was lucky. Okay, so apparently I rolled it and I got a four again. So, roll it again, a two. So it, it's totally random, and the random aspect of it is when you click the button. It's not about, it's not a whole system that tries to create a random thing. So I will explain how the whole thing works after I have explained all the parts of it. And that'll be, it's almost like a series to explain this redstone creation, but I realized that in this creation, there are a lot of things that, here, I'm going to stop the randomizer. So there are a lot of features in it that would be incredibly useful for a lot of other creations. So that is about it for this video. Uh, I think, well, the next time I'll see you guys in a redstone tutorial will be for the randomizer. Um, and then I'm... Not sure what I'll do after that, but anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.